Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is this is 4F Beauty. I think my camera might be slightly on a slant. And you are more than welcome. Is that better or worse? I don't know. What I do know is that today is a foundation review with a bit of a difference. Now, I explained earlier, I've changed the way that I do foundation reviews. Rather than just a first impression foundation using the same um, parameters, i.e. the same moisturiser, the same sunscreen, the same primer, the same setting powder, the same setting spray, etc. Um, and then so sort of like having like a baseline that all were were done on the same. I've now started because I'm not using so many full coverage matte foundations. I'm using more satin. I'm using more natural. I'm using more medium coverage. Um, or I'm applying matte foundations with one of these dual fibre brushes um, just to lighten the coverage a bit. What I'm now doing is I'm wearing the foundation five or six times using different primers, different powders to work out which one gives me the best chance and the best longevity from that foundation then I'm filming with it. But, one I'm filming with today is for a company called Decipher Me. That's D-C-Y-P-H-E-R dot M-E. And they claim by going on and filling out their form and then um, having three, taking three photographs in three different daylight settings with no makeup on, um, they can colour match you perfectly and I kept seeing this thinking mm -hmm, I've seen some American people do this it doesn't turn out well um, but I, in the end I got so fed up I thought I'd give it a go because they do sample pots so I thought four quid for a sample I'll give that a go if it's any good, I might have found my Holy Grail foundation. And then I don't have to worry about having millions of foundations. I can just have the one. Um, so this is it. This is my little pot that I got. This is not a Dr. Seuss episode. And today's film is me trying this out. So... Obviously, I'm filming this intro right at the start, when it hasn't been on for long. So if you want to see exactly how well this performs, or not, throughout the day, because I don't know yet, because I haven't filmed that bit yet, then stick with me. As Sammy the Sloth Straw recommends, that you grab a drink. Grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because whilst I've got a few hours to go before my first check-in, let alone my second check-in, for you, my darling, everything will be instant. Starting with the application process, coming up, well, now. Hey, my lovelies, welcome back from the intro. Okay. I would have shown you <clears throat> this in the intro. Now I've stuck it onto this piece of card with some um, scotch tape because it kept falling off. I didn't want to lose it. But this is a custom made foundation from a company called Decipher. That's uh, D C Y P H E R dot M E. And you can actually order 
like a little sample sized pot before you order your full size one and you fill in what sort of coverage you want so I said I wanted medium and what finish you want and I said I wanted natural and then you have to stand in front of natural daylight uh, three different places with no makeup on and using the camera and it takes photos of you it then assesses your skin tone and mixes you your own perfect match I have to admit having seen a lot of different skin tone matching um, films that a lot of American beauty gurus have done uh, I'm not holding out much hope for this I will be honest uh, it has an expiry date on it of uh, February the 13th 2021 It's only a four month shelf life, but then it's only a very small pot. And it's got on the bottom my individual codes of my skin tone and stuff. So then let's open the pot. Oh, security sealed. I like to see that. Well, I do and I don't because I've now got to try and get this off on camera. Tell you what, let's get me tweezers and just pierce the foil. That's probably going to be easier. Okay. Now I've got foundation on my tweezers. Well done, Bob. It's been a while since I've done a foundation review because normally um, I've actually changed the way that I do them. I um, oh, it might be a good match. I wear them sort of four, five, six times, different found different primers, etc., to see which one works best with it, and then I'm going to film. But obviously. There's not that much in this pot, so I thought I'd go old school and just go straight in with it. So, let's zoom you in. My skin is 46 years old, just like the rest of me. Well, technically my teeth are a bit younger than that. Um, and uh, it's combo oily. So... There's the consistency of the... It's actually quite thick. I was not expecting that. Right, let me grab one of my... Right. Musical interlude. This is one of the brushes that I use when I'm doing a cut crease. It's just a nail brush. So I'm going to use this just to I'm not looking too bad a match I suppose. This is really a lot thicker than I was expecting though, in terms of consistency. Which is actually quite interesting. Because I only wanted medium coverage. 
This is the kind of viscosity that I associate with full coverage, you know, like your urban decay all night and all that not. Right, I'm going to go in with a brush. Feels very lightweight on the skin. Doesn't seem to have a scent. Okay, that's actually not a bad match at all and it definitely looks to be medium coverage so I'm just going to pop a little bit more onto areas where I need a little bit more coverage today. Let's just zoom you in a little bit, just so you can see it close up on my skin. Obviously I've got a little bit of a, I wonder if I could use this as a spot concealer as well. I'll just put the tiniest bit on. You can see it's definitely in medium because you can still see my dark circles through it. But Love it. My bloody tripod marks me about. Okay. 
Okay. It's probably my fault for tipping it forward then now, to be quite honest. Alright, so <clears throat> that's not looking too bad. <clears throat> not looking too bad at all. Seems to be a reasonably good match. See if we get any flashback with it. No, no obvious flashback there. Try and insert that second picture that I've just taken here. <clears throat> right. Okay. So far, so good. This really does feel super, super lightweight on my skin. I couldn't, I can't feel that foundation at all. And I think if you have dry skin you could probably get away without needing to powder uh, because this does feel like it's starting to set down yeah there's nothing coming off on my fingers so you, you would be able to um, once you've given it sort of five five minutes to set down, you'd be able to apply stuff over the top. Right, I'm going to pause you, I'm going to finish the rest of my face off, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like then. It's currently 11 o'clock for the check-in time. So I shall be back when I finish doing the rest of this. It's going to be instant for you though. Okay, dokely, I am back. Uh, shh, fine. I used my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in Porcelain 320 for my under eyes. I used my NYX Lavender Corrector Powder for under my eyes and my Laura Mercier Glow Powder for the rest of my face. Because obviously this is meant to be a satin or natural finish, so I didn't want to use a matte powder and pretty much all my other powders are matte. Uh, I used my butter bronzer in shade bronzer. Look at the pan in that palette, isn't that sexy? Uh, as my bronzer. And my Milani Luminoso blush, which look, I've actually got flat now. That's how much I've used of it. There's no bump left. Um, the highlight is my Lethal Cosmetics uh, highlight in shade Scatter. And the lip gloss is Fussy by Fenty. So, uh, it's now just gone half eleven. This, I mean, the, the powder products applied on top without any issue at all. As did the um, the cream concealer. I deliberately used one of my lightest concealers because I wanted to see how well it would mesh with the foundation, and it just there was no problems at all. It doesn't appear to have oxidised yet. At least I don't think it has. What I will do is take another flash photo.
and then I will be able to compare the two and ascertain whether or not it has oxidised but looking at it I don't think it has. Obviously my face looks a different colour because I've got bronzer and blusher and highlighter on it but looking at the areas that are just you know like my jawline here um, the centre bit of my forehead um, and sort of this these bits here there doesn't appear to be a marked change and I always carry mine down and sort of fade it out as my my chin becomes my neck um, and there doesn't appear to be a huge delineation line there at all so that's a good sign um, obviously it has only been on for half an hour I did use my Gerard setting spray on top to settle all the powders down and give it as good a chance as possible but then I do that with all of my foundation reviews the primer that I used today if you are interested um, I used my Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer all over and then just in my nose pores and across the tops of my cheeks I used my No Problem from Touch In Soul because I find if I use that all over the makeup just slides straight off but it is very good for minimising the look of pores and for stopping foundation from falling into it. As you can see at the moment there is no accumulation around the sides of my nose um, and I have had foundation split in half an hour and start to gather there so that's a good start. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a few hours time. I normally try and do sort of about five hours um, and then again about sort of anything between eight and ten hours so it kind of gives you a working day so if you have worn it to the office it gives you a clue and I don't do any touch-ups through the day except lippy because you know lip gloss ain't gonna last through drinking and eating and stuff so uh, remains to be seen how well this lasts if it does last well if you order again I'm just covering my code up if you do order again within 10 days and you spend 40 pounds or more you do get 10% off so there we go and they do say that um, well, they give you all the ingredients on the back there's three options basically tinted moisturizer and natural finish foundation which is what I went for the natural finish it gives you the ingredients then it gives you the ingredients for matte finish and radiant finish interestingly they all have the first three no the first two are aqua and dimethicone so all of them are silicon based primers uh, silicon based foundations and then the tinted moisturizer natural finish foundation and radiant foundation then have oxytidodecanol and the matte one has isododecane isododecane that means anything to anybody but yeah i will be back in a few hours time for me instantly for you with the first check-in Cue the fridge. Marvellous. Hey, welcome back to the first check-in. Okay, it's four o'clock, so this has been on for about five hours now. As you can see, highlight and everything is still where it should be. Let's have a zoom in and see how it's looking. A 
bit of settling there in that line. Wearing off the tip of my nose and the sides. Bit of settling into these and the chin. But apart from that, not too bad. So, yeah, I mean. You know, if this was a work day, I'd kind of just gently smooth over the bits that had settled. I'd probably repowder my nose. Admittedly, I have been doing that quite a bit because my nose has been annoying me, so. Um, But yeah, so far, not too bad. So I will see you again in a few hours time for the second check-in. Welcome back to the final check-in. Did a little down, did a little down. Been a while since I've done that. Right, okay, it's just gone about quarter past seven now. This has been on for about eight hours. I'm at the stage where I just want to take my makeup off because I'm tired. I've been up since half four. So, yeah. So let's get zoomed in and uh, just see how it's fared. Yeah, fair amount of settling in the hulk there. Mm, and a bit there. And just starting to sort of sit in this area. For a natural stroke radiant finish foundation. And bearing in mind I used my um, Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Powder. It's got a very overall matte finish, um, which is quite surprising, not what I was expecting at all. You can see it's completely worn away here now. You can see all the little red thread veins on the side of my nose. Completely gone from here and here. Settling in a fair amount in these smile lines here and kind of worn off the chin quite a bit. But bronzer, blush and highlight are still where they should be. I've worn worse, put it that way. Um, I am surprised at how matte the finish of this is because, as I said, I did choose natural finish, which it's not a radiant finish like. Um, Like my Hydra Luminous from number seven. But a natural finish tends to have a more satin, a more skin like look, hence why it's called natural. Um, I mean, to be fair, it hasn't oxidised, it is a good match to my skin tone, despite having settled in a fair few creases that I have going on. Um, it's not horrific looking. I'd, I'd, I'd be happy with this at the end of a working day. If I was then going out in the evening I'd want to do some something to it. Um, 
and bearing in mind this is with a moisturising um, primer underneath it as well. I used my Ciate Watermelon Burst today. Uh, but in terms of getting the skin tone match done well, I think they've done pretty good. Uh, it certainly seems to be a good match when you look at my chest. There's no, because I always carry mine down to about here, so, and then sort of just fade it down the rest. And there's no obvious line anywhere there where the foundation finishes. Um, I will wear it again. I may try applying it with this uh, duo fibre brush um, and just applying a slightly lighter layer and, and see if that helps with the settling. Um, but yeah, all told I'm actually quite quite pleased with that. I shall continue to use it with, I shall try some different primers out with it and see which one works best. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually, I'm not disappointed. I'm not majorly, wow, I've got to go out and buy this impressed, but I'm not disappointed. Uh, if I had to compare it to a foundation I already own, I'd say it's probably somewhere between the... Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless and the original Too Faced Born This Way in terms of high-end foundations in terms of more drugstore style foundations um, it's quite similar in the way it wears to this Milani Screen Queen um, and also the collection Lasting Perfection. This is a matte foundation though. Um, but in terms of how it looks and how it wears, it's quite similar. It's also quite similar to the Luminous, Dewy Luminous version of uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, but um, as I said, has a more matte finish overall so there we go that is my foundation review for the uh, decipher foundation um, I hope you found that helpful if you're one of my 4F babies please double check you are still subscribed YouTube are unsubscribing people but they are leaving my films in your listing so it's not obvious that you've been deleted and I miss you darlings, I really really miss you. Um, it's also worth double checking what your notification status is because mine on all of the channels that I've got notifications set for had been knocked back to personalised rather than all. Um, not that YouTube seem to be sending emails at the moment anyway but in the hope that they restart sometime soon you're going to want it to say all in order to get anything from them at all. Uh, if you tripped over me some other way and you're completely new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, this is kind of what you get from me, uh, wittering on at you in what I'm told is quite a relaxing and soothing and calming voice about everything and nothing in particular. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, Feel free to come and join the 4F family, we'd love to have you. It's super easy to do, you hit that red subscribe button, turn it grey, then you ring my bell, ring my bell, and choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube will pull their finger out and start sending emails again. In the meantime, until they do, I have got 
an awfully large back side, yes, but also back catalogue of films that you can watch. I've got other foundation reviews, I've got um, product reviews, other product reviews like eyeshadows, etc. Um, makeup tutorials, collabs, challenges, tag films. I even read you my favourite poem in one of them. So basically, if you've got some time to kill and just want to have a bit of a, a nice relax and some me time, as I've said now, for what feels like time immemorial, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, get comfy, and basically indulge, my darlings. Right. Okay. That's it for this film. I want to go and take this off and put my nighttime creams on and just chill out with hubby for an hour or so before we head up to bed. So, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.